Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A stormy morning across the Mid-South, including some pretty heavy amounts of rainfall for parts of the area with flash flooding into parts of the Mid-South. Going to continue to see more chances of showers and thunderstorms across the Mid-South again later on today. Now, the possibility of severe weather is pretty slim at this point, but it's not zero either. So once again, we're going to have to deal with that for the rest of the day today as we see the potential for some more showers and thunderstorms popping up as we go throughout the rest of the day. Currently in the Mid-South, again, we have nothing showing up in the way of severe weather. We'll have more details on what we may be seeing coming up here in just a little bit. Don't forget our entire forecast. If you can't catch up with everything here, if you don't, can't watch the entire netcast, it's in the red bar at the bottom of your screen here in the lower left-hand corner with your seven-day forecast, and all of that is available at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to find out more on that. If you got any weather pictures, we'll be featuring some of those coming up here in just a little bit. But if you have weather pictures, we'd love to see them. Make certain you send them to me. We'll show you where coming up in just a little bit. You can drop them uh, to me at Austin Onik WREG or on my Twitter page or Instagram page. We'll talk more about that, but again, on many different locations. Or you can email me at austin.onik at WREG.com if you'd like to see a little bit more about what's actually going on out there for today. Currently in the Mid-South, again, it's a pretty steamy start to the day with temperatures back in the 70s. A few 60s out there. We'll take a look at live real-time weather net 3 in just a little bit. In the meantime, we've got, again, possibility of showers and thunderstorms pretty much throughout the entire day. They're going to develop, drift, collapse, start back over again, and repeat that process throughout the rest of the day out there forgot to mention, if you have any uh, weather reports from around the area, like Kirk Downing, who got 4.4 inches of rain north of Gosnell, thank you very much for that one. And if you got anything else, rain gauge reports, temperatures, uh, anything in the way of wind speed information out there, let's do some amateur meteorology and send you a little bit uh, more about that, and we'll show it off to everybody else out there. So let's see some weather reports. Uh, give us a city-state information from wherever you happen to be out there, and let us know more about that. From Heidelberg Elementary in Clarksdale, School's out, but a little bit of sunshine mixed in with the clouds for this morning on our weather bug camera there. Some heavy cloud cover, not much rain coming down, draining away on the track and field facilities, and a few joggers and strollers out and about for early this morning. Golfers out and about around the area of Windyke Country Club in southeast Memphis, just off of Winchester, and around Germantown Road, just up the way there, Poplar Pike and Germantown Parkway, right by the railroad tracks, looking back to the northwest from our city hall camera. 77 degrees, 84% humidity, no rainfall to report from overnight here, and winds a little bit breezy southwest at about 12 miles per hour. Kathy Anderson Burnett, be, uh, breezy morning in Friendship, Tennessee. Thank you very much for that one. Rain in Paris, Tennessee. Bruce Lee, thank you very much for that one. Rain thunder in Oxford. Gil Mitchell, thank you very much for checking in from there, and everybody else for checking in from across the Mid-South at this point in time. Rhodes College on the Weather Underground camera showing again temperature not doing too bad on the sunshine out there a little bit of cloud cover looking back to the northwest but getting some sunlight striking the eastern side of the buildings there and from well it's not Hilton East Memphis camera that's actually our transmitter tower camera looking back toward I-40 and around Germantown Road I'm going to see again a little bit more in the way of cloud cover than anything else looking back toward I-40 and Appling at this location let me see if I can get actual Hilton camera zoomed in and as of right now again traffic heavy around that construction area at 240 and Poplar but traffic at least moving by just a little bit there. Storm Tracker 3S radar again the heaviest activity by far overnight has been along and south of Interstate 40 and right now showers and thunderstorms starting to refire south of Corinth around Rienzi and making their way into northwestern parts of Alabama. The heaviest activity from just around Coffeyville all the way back up to around I-22 and now into northeastern Mississippi and all of that making its way back toward the southeast at about 25. None of this is severe and have not seen any severe weather since last night so that's definitely good news there. Back into the metro area we do have again a few sprinkles popping up from time to time and we do still see the potential of some more showers and thunderstorms redeveloping across the mid-south. A few sprinkles trying to pop up just around the Clarksdale area and on Storm Tracker 3S from Helena, West Helena, 
Friars Point, Marvell, and Phillips County. We're getting a few sprinkles showing up here, but the heaviest activity by far is around I-55 and making its way over into Corinth and all that leaving the Mid-South area. But replacement showers and thunderstorms may be possible just about any place across the area as we go throughout the rest of the day. Oxford and Ole Miss, you're picking up just shy of an inch of rainfall and temperatures back in the mid to upper 60s. Everybody else back in the lower to mid 70s on live real-time WeatherNet 3. You can get this information on your computer system. Again, just go to this website, wreg.com slash weather, and click on the weather bug icon for more information on what's going on there. All right, running the numbers into the rest of the day. Temperatures will be back into the upper 80s to around the lower 90s. It doesn't sound like much, but it is going to be decently stifling out there for today with that heat and humidity. We probably are not going to see anything in the way of heat index numbers reaching heat advisory territory. That's when the heat index gets up to about 105 degrees, but it is going to be some of that weather out there that really saps your strength pretty quickly if you're working or exercising outdoors. Add to that, there will be the chance of showers and thunderstorms around much of the area through the day today, right on in through rush hour tonight, dinner time, and right about News Channel 3 at 10 with Jim Jagger's forecast. We should see things calm down by just a little bit, but as we get into tomorrow, we'll start to ramp up the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms in and around the Mid-South area, so the potential for more of that coming up in the next several hours out there. Thanks to everybody for joining us for this morning uh, in and around the area, floating in Corinth, Mississippi. Jamie Clemens, thank you very much for that one. Betty Levingston, Senatobia, Mississippi, let it rain all is well in Walnut, Mississippi. Faye Bryant, thank you very much. Tuning in from Corinth this morning, Jackie T. Reeves, thank you very much. Wet and rainy conditions there. And let's see, who else we got here? A lot of good mornings, good mornings. Hot and sticky, Melissa Jones, Robinsonville, Mississippi. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report in there. Stormy weather in Holly Springs overnight. Bessie Anderson, thank you very much uh, for reporting in for right now. Tomatoes looking good. Jerry Ross Umphress, yes, my wife's plants are going gangbusters with the tomatoes right now, so good news on there. Now, severe weather at this time. We do see, again, a marginal threat for severe weather. Central and eastern Kentucky or middle Kentucky, depending on how you like that classified, but it's well away from the Mid-South area at this time. But the National Weather Service is still saying that we could see the possibility of maybe a thunderstorm severe in nature happening here in the Mid-South as we go into the rest of the day. Isolated, but still possible. The main threat way on over to our east and north, but again, an isolated severe threat cannot be ruled out. Main possibility will be damaging winds and maybe the possibility of some large hail in there as well. Mid to upper 80s, right around 90 degrees today. Again, call it again hot if you want to. More very, very warm than anything else, but after a certain point in time, hot is hot is hot. And again, temperature is going to be staying back in the lower 90s as we head toward Flag Day tomorrow with isolated showers and thunderstorms possible tomorrow right on into Friday. And also seeing a pretty hot weekend coming up, lower to mid-90s, isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms for the weekend. So once again, if you have outdoor plans, have one to get back indoors again just to be on the safe side. 10-day forecast drops the chances of rain toward the middle of next week. And as we run out of spring and head officially into summertime, temperatures will stay pretty stable. Upper 80s to lower 90s for highs, lower to mid-70s for lows, and Maybe a few chances of showers and thunderstorms out there, but that is way in advance, so this is more of a suggestion for rainfall in here for anything else. So as of right now, potential, yeah, sure, absolutely, but guarantee on that over the course of this long a time frame, things will definitely be changing. Hopefully we kind of dry out for just a little bit as we are way above on rainfall for the time being out there. We definitely have a tropical air mass in place for the Mid-South, but what's going on in the tropics specifically? We actually have a new storm system to talk about just into the Western Caribbean, right to the south and east of the Yucatan Peninsula. It's Invest 91L. Invest, again, an investigation area by the National Hurricane Center that's been taking a nice leisurely stroll through the Western Caribbean. Now, into the next couple of days, again, it's not a great chance, but the National Hurricane Center is showing the possibility of some development. Latest spaghetti models so named, again, are showing most of the chance of anything going across the Yucatan and into the southern Gulf. Now, whether or not this becomes a threat for Texas or Louisiana, or if it starts curving a little bit further back to the north and or east, that still remains to be seen. 
Next several days, right on in through about Friday, we're not seeing, again, a great deal of problems out of this as it is in no hurry to go anyplace. But if you're heading to the Gulf Coast, anywhere between, say, Brownsville and, let's say, Mobile, I would keep an eye on this over the next several days to see what's going on. And if you have a cruise scheduled for the Gulf, the Caribbean, anything like that, I would keep up to date on this. This information direct from the National Hurricane Center. You can get this information by going to hurricanes.gov if you'd like to pick up more details on there. Some great weather pictures out there. We're still processing all of them for the last couple of days with the storms coming on through. This one from earlier this week, Arkansas SEC 73. Nice view from aloft of the Mississippi River flying on through there in this area. Boo Bear Hinshaw from Holly Springs picking up over three and a half inches of rain in the old electronic rain gauge there. And Louis Haskett from this morning, kind of a mottled sunrise from northeastern Arkansas into and around the area for right now. Kevin Tubbs, pollen count, uh, don't have that information with this but you can get that information by going to our weather page, wreg.com, and there should be a graphic on that page someplace showing a uh, link to what the pollen section is doing, mold, spores, grass, uh, stuff like that out there. So if you'd like to see more about that, go to wreg.com from there. Nice but hot Edith Glass in Waveland, Mississippi. Thank you very much. Uh, for that one. All thunder, no rain in walls. Anita Rogers, thank you very much uh, for checking on in. Everybody else checking in for right now. Uh, Melissa Mama Swack Davis, hot day in Memphis. Thank you very much for that one. Uh, Jeanne Kuzmal, hope I'm saying that right, from Knoxville, Tennessee. My wife's uh, home stomping territory and where her family still is. So welcome from the eastern side of the state. If you've got weather pictures, let's see them. Tweet them to me at aonic underscore WREG3. On Instagram, aonic no underscore necessary WREG3. And on my Facebook page at AustinOnic WREG. Love to see your pictures out there. Let's go ahead and send them in. If you'd like to get my updated forecast on radio, join me on Bob and Josh's Talk Back Live on AM730. If you can't catch the signal because you're out of the uh, listening area, Dial them up online, talkbacklivenetwork.org. My forecast will be on until 10 o'clock this morning. And, of course, we'll have more details on the forecast. Throughout the rest of the day, Jim Jagger's forecast starts on News Channel 3 first at 4. And, of course, I'll have an updated forecast coming up at about 20 till 11, depending on what time we get done taping, or I guess I should say recording updates, dating myself there. That'll be happening later on this morning, including a look at weather where the troops are. If you have any friends or loved ones serving in the United States military, we'll take a look at weather around the globe for various military locations and show you a little bit more about where you can get that information. We'll also take a look coming up later on this morning at at what's going on with the wildfires out there. You spoke, we listened, and we're going to be bringing you more details as to what's happening with wildfires out west or wherever they happen to be. So if you like updates on that, stay tuned for more on my Facebook page, Periscope, and Twitter, and that'll be at about 20 minutes until 11 o'clock this morning, so stay tuned for more information there. Again, questions, concerns, ideas, anything you'd like to see on here, more satellites, more climate details, whatever it is, drop me a line and let me know at austin.onic at WREG.com. i got to hop off here and get things ready to go for our 825 update. I'm filling in for Corey Ventura doing traffic as well as weather for this morning. So if you're driving out and about in the Memphis area, I'll bring you updates on that coming up here in just about eight minutes. And of course, more on weather throughout the rest of the day. If anything turns severe, we will let you know about it. So stick around for more on that throughout the rest of the morning with News Channel 3. Live and direct from downtown, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stick around for more online and on on air from News Channel 3 throughout the rest of Wednesday.